So what's up guys, we're back in the garage here working on the dyna. I'd say we're installing a Santoro Fabworks FN Suite crash bar uh, that finally showed up after a while. But if you like what you're seeing, you like these moto vlogs, you like the parts installs, the little logo in the bottom right hand screen is the subscribe button. And hit subscribe, it helps me out, uh, helps the channel grow, helps me keep doing content. So let's go check out that crash bar we're gonna install. So here it is, this is again uh, Santoro Fabworks F and Sweet uh, basic crash bar. I went with the normal smooth sliders, but yeah, this thing is super high quality. Um, the welds are great and the powder coated gloss finish is crazy good. Um, got this one from hardcorecycles.com. They're a big presence on Instagram. They're on the East Coast here, so a lot of a lot of those West Coast parts, they'll actually stock, so check those guys out, Hardcore Cycles. I'll put a link for both of these in the description uh, if you guys need it. So the other part of this is these sliders that go on the end that are replaceable. Um, if you ever go down, you can just unbolt them and bolt them right back in, some new ones. So um, all your hardware on this stuff, you wanna use some Loctite. Another great thing to do is the holes in the frame here, they're actually four forward controls if you put forward controls on the bike and that's where the crash bar is gonna mount. But you always, what I've found, it seems like every one of these you wanna run a thread cleaner, not necessarily a tap, but like a, a thread cleaner through those holes a bunch of times because they put little plugs in the front of these but the back side is open so any water or anything gets in there and it just builds up a little surface rust on those threads and it makes getting those bolts in there not fun so you want to clean all that stuff out and make sure it's nice and clean before you put those bolts in so here we go we're about to install it Crash bar all installed. And keep my theme of super simple installs on the dyno. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the top easier ones to do. Um, as long as you clean those threads out on the frame, I, I'll say that a hundred times again, is, is, is you wanna make sure those are real clean. You don't wanna strip those out because that's part of the frame. So bad news bears if you, strip that out so but yeah that's that's it it's looks to be maybe just an inch or two wider than the peg so we'll give it a test and lay it down on the ground someday and we'll see but yeah there's a little logo on the left side and yeah that's it man it fit and finish real nice i'm very impressed Again, this is a Santoro Fabworks crash bar. It's their effing sweet bar. And I uh, got it from hardcorecycles.com. So go check those guys out. As always guys, hit subscribe, hit like. It helps me keep the channel going and support is always good. So if you like what you're seeing, uh, there'll be more of them. I have one more part to put on the Dyna maybe coming pretty soon maybe this week we'll see but look out for that one so thanks for the support guys take it easy thanks for watching